Hello, Mookies. Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is awesome, fine, perfect, and great. Today on the menu is spaghetti and a giant meatball, garlic bread, well, cheesy garlic bread, never forget the cheese, and <sighs> shrimp fettuccine alfredo. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to dig into that. Today is a very, very, very special day, you guys. Mookies, I need you all to do me a favor, and I need you to go over to Nate's channel, Big Guy Appetite, and let him know that the, you are a Mookie and you're now part of the BGA crew. It's very important. We are doing a collab. I'm super excited. This is awesome. And this is my first collab. So it's really, really important um, that you guys go over there and show him some love because he's awesome. I love his channel. I watch every one of his videos. And I promise you, you will love him too. So I'm going to say a prayer. We are going to talk a little bit about Nate. Because I need you guys to understand how awesome he is. And we are going to play a game. Um, it's about 10, 11 questions. And it goes somewhere in the lines of all of the assumption videos that are going around now. But we've done it with a little twist. So... Hold on right there. Let me thank God for this food and we will get get to smacking. One second. Okay. You guys what can I say about Nate? He is, I'm going to be calling him Nate. His channel is Big Guy Appetite. So I want you to know, you know, to make sure you understand, his link will be down in my description below. But it's Big Guy Appetite. His real name is Nate. So I do refer to him as Nate, but I want you to know his channel name so that you won't have a problem in finding him. So. Big guy appetite. Make sure you subscribe, like his video, and also leave a comment, okay? Be good, Mookies. Nate is, he's awesome. He, he's like family to me. I speak to him on a personal level, not just on YouTube. Um, so we, we speak, you know, beyond YouTube. We have plans to do things um, later on down the line together. Um, he's just very good people. He feels like family to me. He feels like a little brother feels like my son. I feel very protective over him. Um, he has great videos. He's funny. He's loving. He's caring. And I can't wait for you guys to meet him. He will keep you engaged. You will enjoy his content. And just make sure that you go over there and you subscribe, okay? That would mean the world to me. I would really appreciate that if my Mookies went over there and became um, part-time or full-time, whatever, um, BGA crew members. They are awesome over there. He does lives. Everyone participates. Um, I promise you, I promise you, you will enjoy him. He's a lovable teddy bear. You just want to squeeze him and hug him and, and love on him. You will love him. 
So head on over there after you watch this video, okay? Um, now, let's get into this food. This right here, this is supposed to be round like a big giant meatball, but it's flat, flat like a burger. Let me tell you what happened. See, what had happened was she was a hoochie mama out there in the street catting around. She got pregnant and she was nice and full. She gave birth and she flattened out and her hips spread. Now she looks like this, but it's okay. I don't discriminate. Looks don't always matter. It's okay if she got a little wide in the hips. Her tummy's nice and flat. I'll still eat her. She's cheesy on the inside. That's probably how she gave birth. She just collapsed. So my bad, y'all. I'm sorry. But on the shrimp side, they're happy, they're good, they're peeled, they're deveined, and they are ready to go. So, I have a glass of wine today. This might get crazy. We have questions that Nate and I went over, and I'm going to answer in a way that I think he would answer the questions. So I'm going to tell you the question. Then I'm going to answer it for Nate. Once I answer that question for Nate, I will read his actual answers to his questions that he emailed me, or he may have texted them to me. I think he sent them to me via text. I have not read his answer. Let me get into this shrimp. This is so good. Look at how creamy, yummy. Look at her, oh, it's so pretty. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. She's a smooth one. This might get messy, y'all. This might get messy. I'm so rude. I'm so sorry. I always forget to give you guys the first bite. Shame on me. You see that? Look at that shrimp. Can you see it? Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. She's special. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. I cooked her just right. Yummy. Yummy for my tummy. Let's try this. See that? You see the mushroom, you guys? You see the mushroom? <sighs> Wine in the sauce. Wine in the cup. This is going to be a real good tipsy night. Here's my wayward. Uh oh, here's my wayward meatball. The hoochie mama meatball. Mm. 
Oh boy. She tastes good. Mm-hmm. Question number one. So question number one, you have $100 to burn, all of your friends are busy, and you have the whole day to yourself. What do you do? I'm answering for Nate. I think he would do something beauty related. Maybe something relaxing. Maybe a massage. I don't want to say like going to eat. In my head, I would think maybe he would want to go do something that would help him relax. Maybe there's not much you can do with a hundred dollars. Um, Maybe something like a, I don't know, maybe a massage or a facial, something like that, something to help him relax. Let's see what he said. Oopsie. He said, Go have a good lunch and watch a movie at my at the theater with all of my favorite snacks. Sorry, Nate. Well, you know, that's a relaxing time too, but I didn't get that right. Hey, Sally. Next question. How useful would you be in a zombie ap apocalypse? What skills do you have that you would help to help others survive? I need some food first and then I'll answer. Oh, why are you so messy? Oh my gosh, you guys, I could just, if it were healthy, I would eat shrimp every day. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Mm. Oh my God, Mookie's. so good. I feel like you could just roll around in it. Nate's skills would be his mind. I think Nate would find out a way to out, outsmart the zombies. I think Nate's pretty intelligent, so he'd figure out a way. He wouldn't, I don't think he'd be out there fighting the zombies because he's not crazy. 
I think he would think of a way to help the others fight them off. Yeah, he would, it would be something to do with his smarts. Not useful at all. Too fat to run, so I'd probably get eaten first. Oh my gosh. That's very close to my answer, oh dear. Next question. What would be the worst ingredients to fill a burrito with? What would Nate say? I'm not sure of, I, I don't remember if he has said in his videos any foods that he hates. But JJ, he would not eat of a JJ burrito. And neither would I. Bah. Oh, he said snails. Bah. I got the bah right. I still think my answer is right, though, regardless. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at me. Hmm. After all that, my cheese is not even stretching. Are you kidding me? The nerve. If you suddenly found out that your internal monologue for the last week was um, actually audible, how screwed would you be? So, if what Nate was thinking suddenly was able to be heard, how screwed would he be? <laughs> See, this is something I think Nate and I have in common. I think we think um, a lot and sometimes our brains may have to work super fast to keep our mouth shut. At least mine does. I think Nate would be screwed. I think he would be very screwed. Hmm. I think he would be very screwed. Nate, you'd be screwed. Let's see what you said. Very screwed! Yes, I got an answer right. I got an answer right. I got an answer, got an answer, got an answer right. He says, very screwed. I'd probably get punched in the jaw. Oh my. Oh my. Yes, darling, I think I'd get beat up too. Would you enjoy, oh, next question. Would you enjoy a vacation away from all of your technology? Why does this keep scratching me? Oh, I'm getting on dirty. Would you enjoy a vacation away from all of your technology?
enjoy a vacation away from his technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nate would probably read a book or something. Relax. I think that's possible. Let's see what he said. Oh my God, yes. I need a week in the dark ages on a, pro oh, on a prairie somewhere. I don't know about on a prairie, but that is a correct answer from me. And that's making me very happy here. Now I've got two. Good job, Nate. I don't know. I don't, did I do it? Should I not even answer that? Wow. Good job, Nate. Good job. Good job because I answered this correctly. Next question. What three qualities do you look for in a partner? For Nate, I think he would say loving, um, shrimp is good. Oh my god. Yes, shrimp, come through. Come through, shrimp! This shrimp making me do the happy dance. I am happy, happy, happy with this shrimp. I do think I like the Alfredo better than I like this because that busted meatball. It's good. She just not so pretty. She's like the girl that you wake up to after you had way too many beers in the bar the night before. That's her. She's good. She did not that pretty. You know? That's her. Yep. Let's see. So we're on the question of what are three qualities you look for in a partner? I think loving, I don't think The person would have to be gorgeous. But I think, you know, you want to be able to look at them. I'm so shallow. Oh my God. Um, and not be a cheater. Be honest. Like, not lie and, and cheat. All that, but the, everybody, I mean, everybody should want that, right? Let's see what my Nate said. His answer is tall, honest, and a big dot, 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 heart. Well, you read between the lines there. What are three cosmetic procedures you would like to have done? I remember him saying, oh, wait a minute. 
I know he got his lips filled before. I'm not sure if he wants to get them done again, but I'm going to say lips. Maybe some Botox. I'm not saying he needs any of those things. He's gorgeous. I'm just saying these are what I'm guessing he may be interested in. Lip fillers. Oh, gosh. Botox and... I don't know what else. He's a good looking guy. I don't know what else he would need. He doesn't even need that stuff. Oh gosh. Oh, um, maybe something like a peel or something to refresh his skin. Something like a, a microdermabrasion or a peel or something like that. Maybe. Let's see what his answers are. <laughs> Breast implants. And he says, just kidding. Of course, he's just kidding. But then he could, no, not into that. Okay. He'd want his lips done. Ding, 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 ding. A nose job and a chemical peel. I got two out of the three. Two out of the three. Oh, I know my little Nate Pooh. I love you, Nate. You're so cute. You don't need a nose job. Just saying. If you opened a restaurant, what type of restaurant would it be? I'm going to just say Mexican food because that's what, you know, he grew up eating. Um... I mean, I don't know if he would want to learn a whole new culture of food, but I'm just going to say Mexican food. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm not a drinker, but I think I feel a little tipsy from that wine. Can you get... No, you won't get tipsy from wine in your sauce, right? I'm not tipsy. Like, I'm not going to slobber on myself, but I'm just saying. Feeling a little good. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, I want more shrimp. There, shrimpy, shrimpy. Mm. Oh! Ooh! Mm mm mm. Anybody new here, any of the BGA crew that's here that has not seen my channel before, I don't always finish my food, but I never waste it. My son will eat everything that I leave on my plate. So I don't want you to think I'm wasteful. This is a lot of food and I will eat some of it for lunch and my son will eat some of it, and it will be gone. It will be put to good use, I promise. Now, I said Mexican food. Let's see what Nate's answer was. Definitely a Mexican treats ice cream shop. I got the Mexican part right, but that is super cool. The treats ice cream shop. I like that. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, that's a good answer, Nate. Next question. Would you rather take a two-week all-expenses-paid vacation right now or a one-month all-expenses-paid vacation in a year? So would you take, would you rather take a month's vacation all expenses paid, but you have to wait for a year for it, or leave right now and have a two-week vacation, all expenses paid. I think Nate would wait. I think he would wait to take a month off. 
I think you would wait. This is some dangerous pasta, y'all. It's out to get me. It's just shooting at me. This is crazy. on my phone. Ooh, this is messy. <gasps> Nate! Give me two weeks right now, baby. Vegas, here I come. You just went to Vegas. I thought for sure you would wait for a full month vacation in a year. Who are you? Question number 10, hamburger or taco? Taco. There's so many different, well, there's so many different hamburgers you can make, but you can't beat a taco. Come on, Nate, you have to choose taco. Ooh, I'll take both in one. Oh, I'll take both in one. A hamburger taco. <laughs> Maybe you can make that at your Mexican treats restaurant. I was half right. Last question, you guys. Would you rather find your one true love or a suitcase filled with five million dollars? Five million dollars! Five million dollars. Or your one true love. Let's see. If he were a smart man, he would take the suitcase. I think Nate's a smart man. Five million dollars. Yep, the suitcase. Nate would take the damn suitcase. He's a smart man. He would take the suitcase. And he could take his one month vacation right now with his hamburger taco on a beach somewhere. And he could open up his restaurant with Mexican treats with his $5 million. Right? This is my drum roll. This is the last answer. Come on, Nate. Come on, I want to get this right. I want this right. Come on, Nate. Five million, please. Still haven't found my true love. Maybe five million will help with that. Oopsies. That's it for my questions, our questions and Nate's answers and my assumptions. This is, you know, let's see, I may have gotten four-ish, four-ish right, maybe. I don't know. All I can say is 
This has helped me get to know him a little bit better. I hope it's helped you get to know him a little better. But what would really help you get to know him better is if you went over to his channel and you hit that like button and you left a comment and you subscribed to his channel and watched his videos because he's awesome, he's loads of fun, and he eats great, great food. Oh, the food. It's beautiful, beautiful food. You guys will enjoy that food. He really goes all out with his food. So please, head over to Nate's channel. Tell him you're a Mookie and you'd like to be a member of the BGA crew and send him my love because I love him so very much. I thank you guys so much for visiting me and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. You know how much I love you, Mookies. Welcome all you BGA crew members that have come over to take a take a, a, take some time with me to hang out with me. I appreciate it. I hope you come back for another video. I hope you hit that subscribe button and give me a little like, a thumbs up, boop, boop, thumbs up, thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I love you, Mookies. I love you, BGA crew. You guys have an awesome, awesome night. Thank you so much for everything. You are very much appreciated from the bottom of my heart.